Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm finally back with a makeup tutorial. My skin is still struggling, but I thought I would still do one because, you know. So basically I'm recreating this makeup look for you guys because every time I look at it, I'm like, mm, no, it's missing something. So first we're going to start with the Alyssa Edwards palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to start with the shade BBDC. Um, basically I'm just going to like do kind of a wing, lighten wing liner with a angle brush. So basically I just want to follow the line. I also put tape so it's more sharp um you guys see as you guys see um yeah so just do like a wing liner with a purple shade and then here i'm just going and mopping out my crease you guys can do it as thick or as like thin as you'd like basically like the space that you have i like to go all the way into my crease so i have a lot of space to like fill it in with all the eyeshadows that's why like i go pretty high up in my crease and i'm just gonna go like into the two thirds of my eye leaving the inner corner space bare basically i'm not gonna line this part and yeah here i'm just going with a pencil brush and i'm adding a lot more of the shadow and just kind of like smoking it out make it more uh, smoky basically and uh, blending it so yeah and you can just go back and forth with the shadow and just to make sure like it's as pigmented as you'd like to be honestly this palette is really nice the purples can be um usually purples are kind of hard to work with it can they can kind of be like blotchy a little bit and like i don't know but in this palette honestly they work really really well compared to like other palettes that i have so here i am just doing the same thing um like i, like I said i did put some tape so it's like more sharp so i just have an angle brush with the same eyeshadow i'm doing some kind of a wing liner to make it really really sharp and here i'm mapping out my crease like i said i go pretty high because i want a lot of space in between to put the other eyeshadows and also i'm not mapping out the crease all the way to the inner corner but like maybe the two thirds of it um, yeah, just make sure to go back and forth and like just add more shadow to make it more as pigmented as you like um, I just want to add something uh, my eyelids were stained after <laughs> when I removed my makeup I think it's that purple shade um, Yeah, because I had eyelid like purple not actually pink eyelids for like a few days Actually a day, but like still I just want to mention it. Um, yeah, so here I'm just using my pencil brush adding a bit more shadow and uh, Just blending it out so make it more uh, Smoky after that I use my lush left palette and I'm using the shade monsoon 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 sorry, and this is the first shade I'm gonna put inside like our wire or like winged cut crease I guess and um, but this shadow you actually have to tap so i'm using like a, a smudge brush and i'm just tapping and tapping to add as much pigment as possible because if you swipe with this shadow it's actually not going to show through the color um it's a nice blue it's just that like you, you need to know how to work like make it work so basically you just want to tap 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 make it as pigmented as you can the next shade i'm using is a shade juicy that's just right above it and this is gonna be my middle shade i'm not worrying too much about blending shadows so far i'm just gonna like map out where i want my shadows to be um yeah this is what i'm doing just tapping at everything i'm doing the same thing this one i have to admit that like this shade the, the shimmery shade in this palette are better used with your fingers but just to map out for now i'm just gonna use a smudge a brush the next shade i use is pom pom it's that, that really like almost neon green shadow that actually looks kind of white on my skin tone um on my skin so basically this is going to be the inner corner shade um like i said again like i'm just using a smudge brush another smudge brush obviously and just mapping out where i want the shadow to be so you, can, you guys can see like kind of an idea of how it's going to look like i said also like it, it actually like shows better when you use your fingers that's what i'm doing uh here and putting it in my inner corner um after i did all of this i thought like the purple kind of like lost is its power and i wanted like the like the wing part to be more prominent so that's why i went and used the shade believe from the alisa edwards palette and put it on top of the other purple shade just because like i find it's more vibrant it's actually more purple and it just goes better with whatever i have in between um on my lids so here i'm just 
um, going back and forth with mon monsoon shade and the purple shade and just making sure that everything is blended out in the outer corner right here I'm using my pencil and then I'm going back with my uh, smudger brush with that blue palette like back and forth back and forth just to make sure it's well blended and because also that blue shade is kind of hard to work with as a lid shade so yeah you just have to go back and forth to make sure it's well blended and everything looks good together so to um, make it more um, intense I went back with the green shade which is called juicy and I just use my fingers because like like I said before like it's just more vibrant when you use your fingers for this palette at least and in between I'm just using whatever smudge brush I had um, to like uh, blend the like the two shades together and the inner corner I'm just want to make it a bit more vibrant also so here you're done with uh, your your lid eyeshadow uh, look so I'm just thinking off the tape and I'm gonna start doing my face makeup and this is what it should look like I'm gonna start with priming my eyes I think I use the Smashbox oil and shine control I don't know if it still exists I feel like every two months they change their packaging they probably have something that's similar right now um, just not the same packaging so you guys have to like, take a look on Sephora I guess or on the website I don't know what it is um, and then I'm using the photo finish smooth and blur primer on top um, like I said, my skin is still going through it. I'm still ha have I still have a lot of eczema around my eyes, um, and also like around my mouth, also a little bit. So it's, my skin is really, really dry. Probably not the best primer to use with eczema skin, but this is all I have right now. It's really hard going from like really oily skin to like really, really dry skin. Um, yeah, my skin was uh, is moisturized in this video, but everything that I use is basically like for oily skin. So that's why um, that's why I'm, this is what I'm using basically. Here for foundation, I'm using the Skin Tint by Fenty Beauty uh, in the shade 18. Everything that I mentioned will be down below in the description box if you guys want to know exactly what I use because I might make mistakes. I guess um, sometimes I tend to forget what I use, but everything will be down below. Yeah, so I just want to blend, blend, blend. Here I'm using my Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and I'm just using it for under my eyes and around my nose. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, like most of the things I use are mostly for oily skin, for my skin prep. So it was it was kind of hard for this video, honestly. Like my skin is not looking the best, but I'm still trying to make it work. Um, you guys can see that there's a little bit of demarcation between like my cheeks and under my eyes because where I have eczema, basically like the skin is not the same shade anymore because it kind of it's almost like it ate around like at my skin because it was peeling a lot and basically my skin is just not the same shade right now. You guys can see there's a little bit of demarcation. That's what it is. Um, I can't really do anything about that, but yeah. And then here I'm just using uh, my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Kokunari. Um, it's um, around my, like here, around my cheek, it's a bit blotchy, but this is what I use for my cheeks to bronze my face and around my forehead to set under my skin. Uh, <laughs> My, to sit under my eyes, I use my Can Stop One Stop by NYX. I'm just using a little bit because um, I still want to take off the shine but not necessarily bake basically. Um, on my cheeks, I won't really mind but under my eyes, I'm not really gonna bake. Um, yeah, but even then here you guys can see it's really minimal compared to what I usually how much I usually use and then I just removed it right after and use my Sephora micro smooth powder in the shade mahogany. I'm just putting like a little a little bit of powder Just to make sure it's set a little bit just so like it take off some of the shine For my mascara, I'm using my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Maybe I should change, I don't know. But I really love this one. Um, I'm just putting on my lower lashes. Um, you guys saw in like some of my latest videos, I'm not really putting eyeshadow on my lower lashes. Uh, lower lash line, sorry, because I do have really sensitive eyes. Uh, and yeah, so anyways. Um, for blush, I'm using my AW Palette by Morphe. I'm pretty sure I use the shade um MUA I filmed this like two weeks ago but I'm pretty sure this is the shade that I use okay 
and uh, I'm gonna start doing my lips so the first lip liner well the lip liner I'm using for this lip combo I'm using the control lip liner by Colourpop so I just want to use it to line my lips I really like the shade it's like a really rich dark brown um, they have a lot of like really nice shades to be honest and yeah so I'm just lining my lips it should look something like this and then I'm just gonna fill it in with my NYX soft matte lip cream in Abu Dhabi you guys know this is like my signature lip combo I switch it up a little bit sometimes but for pretty much this is all I use for my nude lips and here I'm just going back with the lip liner just to make sure it's well blended together because sometimes the lip shade kind of goes over the lip liner side and here I just thought it was a bit too dark for this makeup look so I just went ahead and added a little bit of concealer whatever concealer I use for this makeup look this is what I use and then I decided to set my face just because my skin was a bit dry so I did use the Morphe continuous setting spray just to add a bit of shine on my face I was debating if I wanted to put setting spray because it's actually one in the morning when I film so yeah I would just but I still I, I just did it for the sake of like the video and also for the pictures after I wanted my skin to look nice like still matte because here I'm adding powder but not dry if you guys know what I mean so that's why I did put the setting spray so my skin looked less dry but here I'm just putting back a bit of powder just so I don't look too too shiny especially in my t-zone and my big ass forehead so this is what the makeup looks like this is what we did um, if you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, I'm really happy with my journey even if I had to take a step back but anyways I'll see you back next time in my next video which will be pretty soon bye